Hey everybody, it's Friday, time for Facebook Live. I am back from vacation and I think, fingers crossed, we're gonna get back on our normally scheduled program, you know, every Friday and I'd like to add back in Tuesdays once school starts. I don't know about you guys, but school starts here in a week. Well, a little over a week. And then I can think clearly again. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for joining on today. I am going to make sure that I am in the right place. I'm gonna share this over to my page. I have so much to tell you guys today. Um, let's see if I can pull this up without hearing myself and I can see your comments. All right, hi Kathy and Karen. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. So I was gone. Uh, for about let's say, nine days, the beginning of August, which wasn't a great time for me to be gone. <laughs> but we had a wonderful vacation. Uh, we took the kids on a little cruise in the Bahamas and Caribbean, and we had a great time. Uh, Ted and I were fortunate enough to go to Greece with Stampin' Up! in July, and the kids, you know, they stayed with my parents, which they love, but we just wanted to spend some time with them. So we took them on a cruise, and it was fun. Um, Ted and I both said two cruises in one summer is way too much. Um, too many people, <laughs> it was very crowded on both ships and too much food because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm on a ship and there's a buffet, I have a very hard time staying in control. It's very bad. So we are back, we are, we are eating healthy again, <laughs> we are exercising again, and we are ready for school to start. Uh, my kids will be in fifth grade, seventh grade, and 11th grade this year. And they are ready, they've got their school uh, clothes, their backpacks, and I am counting down the second. I don't know, they, they are ready, but they're also enjoying their downtime. All right, I see you guys have joined me, thank you. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I always pick a product of the week, which I have kind of slacked off on in the last month, um, but I hope to really get back on that in September, where we pick one, pro one product and we um, do all kinds of projects based on that one product. And um, this week I picked the You Always Deliver stamp set, it's very cute. Has a little like a mailman, little UPS guy. And we're gonna do three projects with that. Now also, in conjunction with this live, I do a blog post over on my blog that has all the projects, as well as the products that I'm using, and a link to a PDF that you can save or print or do whatever you want so that you can recreate these at home. Uh, maybe not today, maybe in a year from now, but you'll have it um, and you will be able to do what we're doing. So you can go over there right now, pinkbuckaroo.com, and under the last picture, the third picture, you'll find a link, click on it, pull it back up, and save or print. And on the second page is the third project, but also all this stuff that I'm gonna try to run through and tell you about. Hi, Gina. Hi, Dinah. Um, so if I mention something and I'm going really quickly, just know that you can hop back over to my blog. Most of it's listed right there on the blog post, but it'll be here too on this PDF, okay? Um, the first thing I just wanna to touch base on are my two classes to go. The Dinosaur class, the Dino Days class, here's that stamp set, has six projects. And I can't really hold them up. Let's see, I've shown you the Volcano box. It's a little gift treat box. It would make a fun little, um, little like a party favor or something. And um, also there is one of these really cool, I don't know, do you call it a card box or a box and a card? It folds flat like a card, but then it pops open and it's this really cute box. So that's just two of the projects. There are six of them. Um, and you get, when you order this class to go from me, it's delivered right to your mailbox. And it has several options. You can get the stamps and dies. Um, if you don't have them. If you do have them, you can get the class to go without them. And it also includes the enamel dots that you'll need and the ribbon, a whole bolt of ribbon you'll have left over so you can make more of them if you want, as well as the six projects divided up and ready for you. The only things that you'll need are ink, adhesive, and your stamps and dies. All right, pop-up card, Terry, is that what you call it? I always feel like it needs to have the word box in it somewhere. Anyways, the deadline for this class is today. 
I'm going to start working on this this weekend and they will be shipped off no later than Friday. Okay. So if you want this class, today's the very last day. Click on that link on my blog, send me an email. I can send you the registration link and I've um, got to be registered by tonight. Okay. So that's class number one. Class number two is one I feel like I've kind of neglected. Um, I, I haven't even made like a little video about it. Usually I make a video of all my classes, but this one I have not. It is the To a Wild Rose class that I'm doing with my friend Rhonda. We both designed a class with this bundle. So my, her class is pop-up cards or um, fancy folds. Okay. If, if you like fancy folds, that's her class part. And if you want to do something different also, or instead of, you can get one or both. Mine is a mini album gift box. Here's the box and here's the mini album. Um, the, the PDF comes with a video, both of ours do, and it also includes a card. So that would be a great, like a Mother's Day present or birthday present, something like that. Um, and if you get both of our classes together, um, you will get this little journal that this new pressed petals journal that we have, you get this for free in addition to a PDF that has two ideas on how to use it. Clear as mud. I don't feel like I explained that very well. But the details are on my blog. You can register on that link and you can get my class, you can get her class, or you can get both of them. Um, my PDF is available, she'll add hers on later on, you can get her PDF as well. And the deadline for that one, I don't even have it written down, but I think it's the end of next week. So you have a whole week on that one, okay? Um, so Wild Rose class, if you really like this, um, beautiful, where is it? I can see it in the video, this pressed petals paper. And if you like mini albums, I love mini albums. Do you guys like mini albums? I don't know. I love them. I love making them. And you know what? In fact, I made a really complicated one this summer that I was going to offer to a class and I never got around to it. So it's just sitting there. It's so cute. I need to take pictures of it. But anyway, I love mini albums. They're fun. They're kind of a different um, and they make great gifts. Okay. So that's class number two. Now, classes for September, you guys. I gave you a sneak peek earlier in the week of the snowman. I'm doing in September, if you've seen the holiday catalog, my September classes will be that snowman. Look, there he is. I can only show you the front of the catalog. It's going to be using that whole suite of products. And that's going to be a fundraiser class. I'm going to do a, I'm going to, I, my goal is to start doing a fundraiser class, either quarterly, bi-monthly, something. I really want to do um, a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's uh, Association. Um, but I'm going to tell you all about that in September, okay? Um, and then just because some of you like to plan out your purchases, how you're going to purchase them, so I want to give you a heads up. It'll be the snowman class and, of course, the Halloween class. Um, what is the Halloween stuff called? I can't even remember what it's called. But if you've seen the catalog, it is called, I don't know why I'm looking but I just have to, Spooktacular Bash. And if you've been around my blog for a while, you know I love Halloween. And my Halloween class is one of my biggest ones. So be look on the lookout for that. Hopefully I'll have it ready listed next week. Um, now, speaking of catalogs, if you've ordered from me in the last six months, I mailed you a catalog on Wednesday. I think they went out, yeah, on Wednesday, okay? So be looking, they come in a hot pink envelope. If you, um, also, you know what, I better tell you this. I included a wish list in all my catalogs that has a coupon on there, right here. Okay, so if you get a catalog from me, make sure you check out that coupon because it expires September 25th, okay? Now, if you don't have a demonstrator and you really want a catalog or you haven't ordered from me in the last, say, like six to nine months, just shoot me a message and I will mail you one for free. There's no reason for you to pay for these. I am more than happy to mail them to you for free, okay? So if you do not have a demonstrator already or you haven't ordered from me in a while, just shoot me a message. Okay, now, if I show you this, is it gonna be backwards? I feel like I need to flip the camera around. Yeah, it's backwards. Okay, let's flip the camera around because I am very excited about my cute little dog days of summer um, promotion. Hey, Lisa, you know what? Um, yeah, I have a family member um, who is suffering right now as well. And that is why I have decided instead of feeling, um, you know, like helpless, uh, that's not the word, like I can't do anything to help. Um, that's why I decided to do a fun, start doing fundraisers for Alzheimer's because I am devastated by it. And 
we're so close to a, a cure, you know? So anyways, um, we'll spend more time on that, I promise, as we get closer to the fundraiser, and I'll tell you all about it. But yeah, it is a tough, tough disease. Okay, so if you saw my blog post yesterday, I'm doing, the, for the second half of August, I'm giving away stamp and blends. And I meant to pull out my basket. I actually have extra stamp and blends for prizes. And if you haven't seen stamp and blends, this is what they look like. Um, you get, there's always a light and a dark for each color. So for this promotion between yesterday and the end of the month, um, if you use the host code, which is also Facebook Friday host code, and your order is over $50, I'm gonna send you a pair of blends for free. And you get to tell me what color you want. So if you don't have them all, or you're just starting to collect them, this is a great way to get some for free, and I will mail them to you for free, okay? So the details are on my blog today and yesterday. Um, you have to use the host code. So if your, let's say your order is $200, let's just say you're gonna spend $200, I'm gonna give you four sets of blends for free. Now you have to email me and tell me which blends you want and you have to use the host code. You can't, a lot of times if I'll say if your order is over $150 not to use the host code, but this time for this promotion, you have to use the host code. Um, you're gonna get more for free by not using the host code this time. I'm gonna send you four sets of blends, which are, that's $36 value, so you would get less in Stampin' Rewards if you didn't use the host code. I hope that makes sense. All right, um, so if it orders over $50, and that has to be pre-tax, pre-shipping, right? And after you use any of your $5 coupons, okay? The, the subtotal has to be over $50, um, and you have to email me what you want, your colors, okay? So I think that's it. Now that goes along with Facebook Friday. So Facebook Friday's minimum order is $30, and I send you the projects for free. Here are some from the past few weeks, months, really. They come like this. Um, everything is cut, scored, prepped, punched, whatever you, you need, you just have to stamp. Um, and that is free with a $30 order, okay? So if you bump it up to 50, you're gonna get the projects and a set of blends for free, okay? The reason I'm doing that is because it's the dog days of summer and it is awful outside. I know my local friends here know what I'm talking about, and I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. It is miserable outside. This is the only time of year, you guys, that my kids do not play outside. They play outside in January, they play outside in February, no problem, but here in August, we kind of hunker down. It's hot, nobody wants to go anywhere, my, we're bored, everybody needs to go back to school, and I thought, you know what? Let's have some fun and let's have a dog days promotion. So that's what we're doing for the next, I don't know, two weeks or so, okay? All right, if you have questions, you guys, let me know. I think I um, typed all the details out, but if I forgot something or wasn't very specific, please, please, please let me know, okay? Okay, so we'll move these out of the way. Um, let's see remember all this is on this pdf okay paper and ribbon shares i'm going to go through while i was gone on our trip i got my catalog pre-order my holiday catalog pre-order if you're a demonstrator you get to order the month before it goes live if you're a customer it goes live september 4th if you're a demonstrator it goes live august 1st so um after i do our stamping today i'm going to pull up my my huge box of stuff that I ordered, for those of you that wanna see it. I thought I'd wait till the end um, because some of you just wanna see the projects and that's totally fine. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the paper and the ribbon. And I'm doing a paper and ribbon share for the holiday catalog. Here's the, the information right here. You can get a yard of each of the ribbons. Um, here we've got real red, we've got, I think this is crumb cake. Merry Christmas, Cherry Cobbler Striped. Oh, I thought I could tell you all of them. What is that? Shaded Spruce. I don't know, this one's really neat. We've got, this one is beautiful and it's really, you can't see it very well. It's a um, soft, why can I never remember that color? I wanna say soft sea foam, but it's seaside spray, right? <laughs> the end color. It's beautiful. This is um, probably my favorite, the scallop black, and then there's some uh, Cajun craze, like linen thread. So you can get all the ribbon. You can also get either a quarter sheet or half sheet of all the designer series paper. Um, and I'm going to go over those when we, at the end of the video. Um, but I'm offering, and I printed it out. Let's see, where did I do with it? Um, if you get both, 
the ribbon share and the paper share. I'm gonna send you um, some things for free. We've got this new pu snow puff paint that is insane. It is so crazy. You heat it with a heat tool and it like, it's like a science experiment, it like puffs up and it's awesome. So you're gonna get some of that for free. And if you get the 12 by six paper, which is kind of like two shares um, and the ribbon, then you also get, you get that one and you get um, the cr shimmer crystal effects. I'll show you those when we go through the box, okay? So sign up for those. Here's the direct link right here. Um, I will order all of those September 4th and get them out to you within a few weeks. My amazing assistant, Denise, I don't know if she's watching, has a really fantastic way for us to package a ribbon this time. So we are on the ball, we're ready for that. Okay, two more things and then I'm gonna move on um, the holiday catalog. If you're dying to order from the holiday catalog right now, you can. Um, with a starter kit purchase. The starter kit is the best deal in the book always. Um, and it's $99 free shipping and you get $155 in product in August. Plus they send you a $10 coupon to spend in September. And you can add holiday catalog things to your starter kit. I've already had a handful of girls join in the last couple of weeks. Um, and you guys don't think that when you buy the starter kit, you have to hold a class, hold a workshop, sell, do Facebook Live. You don't have to do any of that. In fact, the majority of Stampin' Up! demonstrators are what we call hobbyists. They've joined to support their habit, right? We all would like a discount on all the stuff we're buying, and that's totally okay. If that's you, you are more than welcome to my team. Um, I would say, 80, 85% of my team joined for that exact reason and just stay in to get their discount and enjoy all the fun we have together as a team, okay? So if you're interested in that, remember it's only $99, no shipping, free shipping, um, and you get $155 in product either from here or from the annual catalog, okay? Okay, one last thing. I'm gonna move all of these out of the way and I'm gonna tell you one more time about the tutorial bundle. I do these every month with 11 other designers and we come up with fabulous exclusive tutorials you won't find anywhere else. Um, and the, you can see their step-by-step -step pictures, supplies, measurements, and um, we do them like in six month bunches. So this one runs from August until February, right? August, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah, no, January. Is that right? Yeah, yes, that's right, August, <laughs> August through January. Um, so six months of tutorials. Every month, 12 of them delivered to your inbox right on the first of the month from me. Now you can get these for free when you spend $50 with me. So if you are a shopper with me, a Stampin' Up! shopper, you get these for free, okay? If you are maybe a demonstrator or you have your own demonstrator and you don't wanna put in orders with me to get them for free, you can actually subscribe to get this delivered to your mailbox every month on the first. And the subscription is only offered the first month of the six months, which would be right now, August. And when you subscribe, you pay for five months and get the six one for free. You can pay monthly or you can pay in all in one big chunk. Um, so that is the time is ticking on that after August 31st, that subscription option will not be available anymore. Um, so if you're interested in this, again, it's on my blog at the bottom of all my posts and right here as well. My project this month is a back to school box. I've shown you this a little bit, maybe the last time I was live, it's very cute. And it is in this tutorial. A lot of them are cards, a handful of us do 3Ds each month. It's a good mix of um, just different kinds of projects and it uses lots of, um, of well, all Stamping Up products all current. Um, I know this one even has a sneak peek of holiday catalog things coming out. So those of you that have, that get the all-star tutorial bundle, um, what do you think about it? Do you love it? I have gotten a lot of good feedback. Somebody today just emailed me and told me how much she loves it. And um, I just, I, I don't know, I, we, three years now we've been doing it and it's just been really successful and really fun. So if you're interested, make sure you click that link and go over and check out the subscription details. Ooh, wait, we gotta do prizes. I usually do that first. 
before we start stamping. And then I promise, how long have I been talking? Not too, too long. Then I promise we're gonna start stamping, okay? So, um, two weeks ago when I did live, my Facebook Live, I said I was gonna give the Silhouette Scenes bundle out and I picked someone randomly and it's Myrna Hosington. Myrna, I'm sorry if I did not say your last name correctly, but I'm sure you recognize it. Myrna, I don't have your mailing address, so please message me. You have two weeks, and I would love to send this to you as a thank you for sharing the video on Facebook. Now, this week I've got two sets of prizes. This really cute Capture the Good stamp set. I taped these on here. Let's take them off so you can see it. This is Tammy White's Million Dollar Stamp Set, and I love it, and I have only used it once, and I really want to use it a lot. So this stamp set, along with... How about some watercolor pencils? Yeah, so I've got two of those to give away. We're just gonna pick two people um, at random who share the video next week, all right? Um, so make sure you share it on Facebook. And I better stop saying that S word because I've heard this week that people are getting in trouble for saying it too much. <laughs> I don't wanna go to Facebook jail. All right, so let's stamp. Let me show you the projects that we're gonna do today. Um, these projects were originally designed, well, two of them were, originally designed for my team. Um, my friend, Ange McKay from Canada, we sometimes get together and plan these um, little classes for our downline, and this was one of them. And um, I'm gonna show you two of the projects today, and I came up with a third. I'm gonna show you how to use these mini um, shipping boxes a little differently than how they are um intended okay and look we're going to use some stamp and blends on this cute guy all right let me get situated and we will get started now don't forget i'm going to show you all my pre-order stuff later at the end of the video okay so if you want to see that stuff make sure you stick around all right now let's all keep our fingers crossed that i have everything we need prepared I'm still on vacation. Vacation brain is killing me. All right, so this one, I wanted to do like a sunburst um, in the background. This is really fun, kind of bright. The sentiment says, delivering sunshine your way. So I thought, let's do sunshine in the back. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, this is pineapple punch, and let me get my paper so I can tell you the correct measurements. This is the pineapple punch designer series paper. You know, I noticed I'm using the 2018 to 2020 in colors again this week. Two weeks ago, I used those two. They're my favorite. I love them so much. All right, so right here on the PDF, here's all of these measurements, okay? Now, we're gonna take these two pieces. They are one and a half by six inch strips, and I'm just gonna cut them diagonally, okay? And since there are two um, different patterns on the back, that will make it pretty easy. We only need two pieces and we have four patterns. All right, so now let's get, oh, did I not? Oh, right, oh yes I did, okay. I was about to get mad at myself, but I did. Okay, here's the four by five and a fourth inch piece of um, Whisper White. And I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna kind of Put them so that they are going off the page and they're overlapping down here. You see that? I'm, I'm reading comments. Arlene, good. I'm glad you got your catalog. That's so funny. You got it while you're watching my video. I planned it that way. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to put these here like that all right so see how they're just sticking off now i'm going to come back and you can use your scissors let's see i'm going to i'm going to use my scissors to snip this one off you can use your scissors or you can use your little paper cutter whatever you have your trimmer i'm going to cut these this is my super old tiny paper trimmer from the craft store that i love it's my favorite Our paper trimmer is in development, you guys. It's coming, I promise. I've got, I've played with it in Greece and it was awesome. It's heavy duty. Well, not heavy duty. It's more heavy duty than our last one. 
Good grief, you guys. What's wrong with me? I didn't even get my clear blocks out. All right. Hold, please, while I get my clear blocks. This is what happens when you're on vacation. Does it take you guys forever to get back in the swing of things when you've been on vacation? <sighs> my poor husband, Monday and Tuesday, he was so late getting home from work. He uh, <laughs> was like, we're never going on vacation in August again. I'm sorry. This is a busy time of the year for him, for me, for my oldest daughter. She had to miss some school stuff. She wasn't happy. All right, so let's stamp him right here in Memento Black. And the reason we're using Memento is because we are going to color with Stampin' Blends. And Stampin' Blends should be colored, I mean, should be, um, should not be mixed with any of your alcohol inks, okay? because they are alcohol themselves. You have one of those little trimmers too, Kathy? Yeah, I love it. It's just nice, a little nice little size, you know? All right, I'm gonna bring my chair over because I cannot color when I'm standing up. I do much better when I'm sitting down. Okay, so I decided to color him like the UPS man. Um, so he's in brown. Now, I have seen several things online where people were coloring him different colors, and he's so cute. So you could do, if you wanted to do the US Post Office, of course you could do blue. Um, what about my Canadian friends? Do we have Canadian friends here? What does your mailman or your postal man, what does he wear? In other countries, anybody else? I'd love to hear. Now I'm just gonna go over his uniform lightly with the light crumb cake. And then I'm gonna take the dark, and first I'm gonna color in that line right there. And I'm gonna go under the line of his shirt and here where there would be a shadow. And I'm gonna take my light again and just blend that out into the lighter color he does look super friendly, doesn't he? My my poor UPS man runs. Does y'all's UPS guy run? He runs. He runs to the door, drops it off, rings the doorbell, and runs back to the truck. I mean, they work like dogs. They work so hard. So I'm just adding dark wherever there would be shadow. Um, and they usually are like sweaty and they're not smiling. They don't look like this guy, even in the winter. They're running. Poor guy. Now my my um, mailman is a woman, so I should say male woman, male lady. I call her my male lady, and she is amazing. She is the one that comes and picks up all of y'all's packages, and um, I, I even have her phone number. We text back and forth because she's incredible. She gave me her phone number one time and said, she said, please, you know, mail as much stuff as you want. Keep me in a job. And she's like great, so grateful every time I have all this stuff, I feel bad. And she's like, no, thank you so much. So I love her. She does, well, she doesn't look like him, but she does have a big smile on her face every time I see her. This week she was training somebody and I left them cold drinks outside because it was like 106 or something awful. <sighs> they, I know Lisa, they don't have air conditioned vehicles. I just saw, um, and a news report about a guy who like retired early because he couldn't take the the heat, the non-air conditioned vehicles. I, I don't know why that is, especially somewhere like here where you have triple digit days for months on end. I, I, don't, I, I don't understand it. And <laughs> Debbie, I saw your comment. Is he afraid of Charlie? Charlie sure would like for him to be afraid of him, but um, the only time anybody's ever said anything about Charlie's crazy barking was a, a sales guy. And he, when I opened the door, he said, wow, that was kind of scary, the way Charlie jumped on the door. And I thought, well, not scary enough for you to leave. Sales guys, ugh. Okay, now, we have done that in Smoky Slate. We did this in um, Crumb Cake. I'm gonna use, not ivory for his skin. I really like using the um, Petal Pink because you can kind of, I don't know, it's just a little bit pinker and sweeter. Of course, we have um, bronze and ivory for skin colors, and we have 
I mean, you could give them any color of skin that, you know, you want that represents your, your person. I'm just going to give him some little rosy cheeks there. All right. Um, I meant, let's give him gray hair. <laughs> He's getting close to retirement. Let's give him a gray beard. It looks like maybe I did black last time, but oh, he's so cute. What is that? Is that his? Yeah, okay, I need to go back over that. Um, let's blend him in. I don't like that. Up here, yeah. If he's real sunburned, you can <laughs> use your pink. Oh, poor guy. All right, now, lovely lipstick. Actually, this is real red. I meant to grab lovely lipstick, so pretend like it's lovely lipstick. Real red will work too. And we're going to cover this, color this present. Now the stamp set, let me put over here while I'm coloring so you guys can see it. You can put lots of things in his hands. You could put a plant. You could put um, these packages, which we're going to use on the third project. That's what my guy looks like when he comes. <laughs> he has a lot of packages. Um, you could, what else? Um, there's like an open little box. I was thinking, um, now that I have all my holiday stuff, we could put a pumpkin in his hand. I think that would be awfully cute. Christmas presents, whatever you want. All right, so I'm just coloring this in. However, whatever color floats your boat, whatever you think. I like the lovely lipstick with the bright pineapple punch. I'm gonna go over that bow in dark. And there we go. Now. My mom always taught me, don't let your images just float around in space. So I'm gonna take my light, smoky slate, and just put a shadow there under him. Just a little, you know, so he's grounded to the ground. He's not floating around weird in space. All right, there we go. Now we've got this piece and this piece. Now we're going to take this piece, this pineapple punch piece, and we're gonna take the scalloped, border from the seasonal layers dies which i probably use every other day i use it so much i love scalloped borders so this one and the the one that's in the be mine stitched frames did i forget his arm oh, i did forget his arm thank you debbie i didn't even notice it and now that i look at him like how could i forget that it looks so weird okay yeah his arm. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Cause that looks super weird. How did I not notice that? There we go. There, did I miss anything else? <laughs> yeah, you guys saw it. Oh, okay. Now let's adhere him. Uh oh, am I out of adhesive? Of course I'm out of adhesive. Darn it. Let's see, where's my other one? Oh, it's right here. All right, so put him on here. The measurements for these pieces are over there on that PDF, don't forget that you can just print or save them. All right, now we'll put this right here, all the way to the bottom, covering up that point. Okay, and then we're gonna put it on our soft suede card base. And this card base is just half a sheet of cardstock, cut in half at four and a fourth, and scored right there in the middle at five and a half. All right, there we go. Last, let's do the sentiment. I hate that I didn't already pull all of these out, you guys. I'm so sorry. I like to be prepared, and I'm not prepared today. Okay, Memento Black, delivering sunshine your way. Oh, look at that. I put it on the block crooked. Let's get that straight. There we go, flip it over. This little piece is about a quarter inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. No, I think it's more of a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to cut it so that it is the length of the sentence. And we'll put many dimensionals on the back and put it right here. Have any of you already purchased this cute set? It's only $16, just like the one last time. It's like our cheapest priced stamp set, $16. He is a cute farmer, Stan Robin, yeah. 
He'd have to be wearing long sleeves with his farmer tan. All right, a little pineapple punch, quarter inch ribbon. And we will adhere that with a mini glue dot right there. And there we have it. So cute, right? Delivering sunshine your way. So that could be birthday. That, I mean, that could be anything, right? Really, it could be anything. Okay, now let's move on to the next project. I hope you guys like that one. This was really a fun set. Sometimes I'll tell you guys the truth. When I start out with a set, I struggle Ooh, hard, you know, like I don't feel inspired. I can't get anything to work, but this one just, it was awesome. It was really easy to work with. Thanks guys. Okay, so now the next one is a little Ghirardelli holder, a little Ghirardelli chocolate holder, and it opens like this. Uh oh, my bow's coming off, and it holds two. All right, two little chocolates. Um, this, now, you guys, I haven't made this for a month. I hope I can remember how to make it. Um, this one, we're gonna do something different with the sentiment. This stamp set has, thank you for your order, which is probably great for if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. But if you're not, you don't wanna just be like, oh, well, I can't use that. We're gonna uh, mask that off and just make it a thank you. All right? Okay, let's make the box first. Oh, I cut two so that I could practice before and I forgot to practice. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope I wrote the measurements down correctly. You know, I like to practice before we go live when I did it. All right, this is lovely lipstick, six and three fourths by five and a fourth. We're gonna start with the long side and we're gonna do two and a fourth, three, five and a fourth, and six. Then turn it to the short side, and we're gonna do three-fourths of an inch, one and a half, three and three-fourths, and four and a half. Now remember, don't feel like you have to go write those down real quick. It's all right here on this PDF. Okay, now, We've got all these score lines we want to burnish. Let's see, do I have my bone folder? Bone folder will help you get a nice crisp fold. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. Where you can sign up for the holiday ribbon paper shares. Crystal, right here on this second sheet right here. PDF is over at pinkbuckaroo.com right now under the last photo. All right. Now... Let's turn it this way so you can see. We have two, um, two little sections together. That way you can have like a reference point of what I'm doing. Let's see if I can remember how I did it. <laughs> Let's open it up and look. I designed this way at the beginning of June. All right, now we're gonna cut these like this. Why didn't I practice this before you guys? Why didn't I do it? I went to Walmart to get my kids a puzzle and a game. Because they're driving me crazy. I should have been practicing. Okay, so now, down here, we're going to cut off. Let's see. No, we're going to cut off <laughs> both of these. Okay? I'm going to do it slowly so we do it right. All right? So we've got those. Now, right here, we're going to cut off one of them. Okay? Okay? So, like that. Now, let me look. <laughs> I do believe that we're actually gonna cut all of these off. Oh, I hope I did that right. Yeah, I did. And then, we're gonna cut these off. Hmm, that doesn't feel right. I think I did something wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Nope, it's right. Okay. I don't know why I had that second piece out there. I guess we didn't need that. Hmm, I need to look at my um, measurements again. <laughs> okay. If you're still with me, here's what it should look like. I don't know why I had that second row out there, and I, maybe I'll figure it out in a minute and look back at my notes. But we're going to round these right here. Um, this is our triple band or a 
what's this called? The corner detailed. Mm, it has a weird name. Anyway, this one right here is round to round your edges or round your corners. And if you fold it, see how I folded those in and stick that right there, you can round that corner. So fold those in, slide it in, and we have a rounded corner. Now these, we're going to, sometimes I cut them in half, but I think this time, what did I do? No, I just cut the, the corners off. Okay, so cut the corners, and we'll see how that looks. We may need to cut them more to get them to tuck in. Trio punch, Nancy. Detailed trio punch, I think, maybe. Is it on my list? I don't know. I may have even left it off. Mm, I did leave it off the list. Okay, so here we have what it should look like, right? And it's, these are going to tuck in and tuck in like that. Huh, what a weird measurement list I had. I'm going to have to go back and fix that for you guys. We don't need that extra score line there. Who knows? I was probably watching Days of Our Lives while I was doing it. <laughs> okay, so I put adhesive on those two middle um, pieces on the outside, and I folded them in. Okay, can you guys see how I did that? Now I'm going to put adhesive on the inside of these side tabs. It's funny because if that was wrong, then nobody has told me on my PDF usually you guys are pretty quick at telling me on my team. All right, so see how we folded that up? And then these go in and you just fold. I really feel like we need to shorten these a little bit. So let's cut a little bit of these off. They just go in so much better if you cut them down. These go in, that tucks right in. Detail trio punch, yep, Nikki, that's right. All right, there's your little box. How adorable, right? So cute. Now let me show you how we're gonna make this tag. And I know that I needed to cut this out because I didn't do it. My daughter was using my Big Shot yesterday. She was doing work for me. She likes to earn money by doing what I call Big Shot work. And she cut out a ton of things for me yesterday. So yesterday when I was prepping for this, I couldn't cut this ahead of time. So we'll do it now. This is the third smallest stitched circle from the sti stitched shape dies. All right, so we've got that. Then we're gonna use the storybook label. This was new during celebration and now it's in the annual catalog, love it. It's one that you can definitely have on hand and use quite a bit. All right, we have to use this adorable little dog. See him right here? He's so, so cute. And let's get a block. And we're gonna stamp him in memento, like that. And let's grab one of those blends and color in his spots. There we go. And let's get those little hearts. Where are the hearts? Here they are. And we're gonna just do a little bit of hearts right there and a few down here. And then we're gonna get that sentiment that I was telling you about. You always, let's see, nope, not that one, not you always deliver, but thank you for your order. And we're just gonna make it say thank you. And if you haven't done this before, get a, post-it note and just put it right over the words that you don't want stamped okay and then ink your stamp pull that post-it note off and stamp and there you have it that's called masking masking um away the words you don't want you can also when you guys have probably seen me cut the stamp apart, you can cut off that um, for your order, you could cut it off. And if you were gonna use it, those pieces will go back together on your block like little puzzle pieces. Don't be afraid to cut your stamps. I know some people don't like to do that, but. And photopolymer is a little bit trickier than rubber. 
Okay, this is a two and an eighth by two and an eighth inch piece of Whisper White. That's not right, let me look at my measurements. Yeah, it is. And a two by two piece of Lovely Lipstick DSP, designer series paper. I'm just gonna put that flat on that box. And we're gonna take our circle, our lovely lipstick stitched circle, and put it right there and our storybook label punch right there and last but not least you gotta have a bow you could leave the bow off if you want but i just can't i just can't it's very hard for me to not use ribbon and or twine twine i really like and i like this ribbon because it's nice and thin and it doesn't bulk your project up and it matches perfectly. Who doesn't love that? Man, I remember the days years ago where I'm digging through my drawers and my boxes trying to find the perfect match. And now I don't have to do that because everything matches. All right, what do you guys think? Two little Ghirardelli chocolates in a little box. Those would be great teacher appreciation gifts at the beginning of the school year. Throw them in their little um, mailboxes. Cute, right? Or just for your, your mailman or your mail lady little thank you all right what do you guys think i like that box shape a lot i don't know about you but i like it all right let me clean up my mess a little bit and we'll do the last project before i show you all of my holiday catalog pre-order you know i've been really jealous i see people other demonstrators playing with their holiday catalog products making all these cards and i just haven't had time to do it i made a couple of I will say I've made a couple of Halloween projects for the Halloween class and I made the snowman projects for that class, but nothing that I can really share yet. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Now, this box, have you guys seen these super cute boxes in the annual catalog? They're called mini shipping boxes. And let's see if I have my, they also have washi tape and I haven't even opened mine. What's wrong with me? It's really cute. So. These boxes were designed to look like your Stampin' Up! box that comes from UPS. And <laughs> some people are confused by how you put them together because you would think that this would be the top, right? Where this um, this piece would fold in as the top. It, but then everybody's like, wait a minute, the logo is upside down. However, that's the bottom, okay? Because the top is supposed to fold out like this, like your Stampin' Up! box, right? And then you can fill it with whatever, candy, ribbon, buttons, whatever you wanna give to your friend, and close it up, and take your washi, your Stampin' Up! washi tape, which is so cute, and close it with the tape so it looks like, you know, the packing tape. I don't have anything in mine, so it's hard to hold still. So super cute, right? So that's how they were designed. There's to look like a cute little stamping up box. However, some of us want to use them for something else. You know, like maybe I want to give them to teachers at school. I don't want it necessarily to say stamping up. So I played around with it and decided to do it upside down like it with that this part being the lid and it actually is quite simple okay so let me just show you what i did these um pieces that are really designed to be the top um they don't okay i'm going to close up this part so we can look at the bottom they're not really you know big enough to to completely fold up the, I don't know, it just feels like it wouldn't be that sturdy. So what I did is I folded it like this. You know how you we fold a box when we're trying to close it? So I did that and then I got my Tombow and I'm just gonna squeeze it under these corners like this, all right? And now I'm gonna lay it down and put something heavy in it 
so that it will lay flat and that glue will dry. Okay, so let's put in a block. I don't know, I may need to use this block. So let's put this block. All right, so now it'll dry flat and I feel much better about putting something in there that's not gonna completely fall out the bottom. Okay, so this will close up like that. But we need to cover that up because for one, it's upside down, but two, maybe we don't want to use Stampin' Up, the Stampin' Up logo for this project. So let's make a big tag to go right on the front of it. Now, the other stamp that I'm using here has its own permanent <laughs> um, stamp radius. Those of you who know me know that me and the Buffalo Check, we have a little love affair. I can't really go very long without using it. And so we're gonna use it today. Um, I am, I've got it on my Stamparatus, which makes it a lot easier to stamp. And I am using blueberry bushel. Whoops, I moved that over. Oh no, 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 you stay there. Um, the blueberry bushel ink on blueberry bushel cardstock. Now the reason I love using it on my Stamparatus is because I can stamp it again. Stamping a big stamp like this just with your hands, sometimes you don't get a great solid image. So when you have it on the Stamparatus, you just swing it back over, put some more ink on it, and it's gonna be exactly in the same place you had it. And then you have a really good solid image. Okay, so that's the Stamparatus, and that's the Buffalo Chip background stamp. Now let's cut it out with a circle. This is the largest circle die. The, what do we call them? Layering circle dies. So you're gonna have quite a bit there left you could use for another project. I don't think you could get another circle this size out of it, but you could do something, I don't know, maybe. Maybe if you really fit them in carefully. All right, now we're gonna stamp those cute packages. Cute packages, they're cute because they're a stamp. Not necessarily cute. How cute can brown boxes be? I don't know, they have a bow on the top, so that does make them pretty cute, right? And of course, I left my crumb tape ink over here because I was using it. We're gonna stamp the three boxes in crumb cake ink on crumb cake cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp the, the other box, the little open box, right there. And you guys thought you were gonna get away with no fussy cutting today, but sorry, we're gonna fussy cut. You know I love to fussy cut. All right, so get your sharpest, littlest pair of scissors and just cut these boxes out along the the edge of the image on the outside, leaving just kind of a little bitty cloud around the outside. Now this bow, I tried to cut it and I thought, no, that's too hard, let's just cut it off, it's fine. We don't need it. <laughs> if you're really good at fussy cutting, you could cut that out, but I thought, meh, it's too much work. We're just gonna cut it off. All right, so cut them all the way off right there, get a nice straight image. Let's do the same thing with this one. And this one's a little trickier just because it's smaller, but all straight lines, which is pretty easy, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek from the holiday catalog, just a little one. This is a punch. Look at that cute little puffy heart. And it's it comes in a punch pack of four little punches. Oh my gosh, I have ink everywhere. <laughs> um, it never fails, every week. And let's see, what was I saying? The heart punch holiday catalog. It comes in a set of four punches. They're called Mm, did I put it on here? Season something. Everything, every season punch pack. So I have it on our supply list, but you can't order it until September 4th. Um, I cut that with um, lo in lovely lipstick, all right? Now what sentiment did I use, you guys? Delivering thoughts 
delivering lots of positive thoughts. Cute, clever. It never ceases to amaze me though. The cute little sayings they come up with for these sets. All right, this is a sliver of Whisper White cardstock. About, this one looks like half an inch. And I cut it longer than I need it because we're gonna hear it on there and then trim it around the circle. All right, let's see if I can do it without smearing it. We're gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put that kind of as close to the edge over here as I can, like that. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and trim it off. There we go, see how it matches the round. And then of course we're gonna use dimensionals for this guy, whoops. This box right here. This would be cute for, um, you know, welcome to the neighborhood, these little boxes, or good luck, you know, in your new home. Um, or even, you know, right now there's kids moving into their dorms, going away to college. These boxes would be great. Delivering positive thoughts, that would be good for that too, because that's a scary time. All right, there we go. Little heart coming out of the box. So cute. All right, let's see now, are we dry? Yep, so it's pretty solid now. We don't really have to worry about. I was thinking uh, blueberry muffins would go, you know, if you made many blueberry muffins, and I actually was going to do that. It didn't happen. My kids saw the box of blueberry muffin mix on the counter and got excited, and then, <laughs> and then I put it back in the pantry. Sorry, guys, mommy doesn't have time. Um. I love blueberry, not blueberry, what did I say, pancakes? Blueberry muffins. You guys know what I'm talking about. I love blueberry muffin mix, I mean batter. I shouldn't admit that. I know you're not supposed to eat it, but oh my gosh, it's so good. So I have to not make it, because once again, no self-control. My kids love blueberry muffins. We'll make them on the first day of school. <laughs> it's a special treat. Okay, so this is the Magnolia Lane. Uh, ribbon pack there's two things in it and we're gonna put dimensionals right here on either side to kind of um, straddle did I say muffins I thought I said pancake pancakes hey mom my mother just sold her house you guys in like 36 hours like super fast I don't even think it was that long she'll be moving to San Antonio with me in two months yay okay so there we go that's it easy right so really you're not doing much to that box other than just gluing the bottom and then you could put anything in there you know you could even put like post-it notes and thumbtacks and paper clips that would be a fun little teacher gift or college student gift for this time of year or the blueberry muffins blueberry muffins are always a good idea <laughs> if i do say so okay so let's take a look at what we made today now remember, don't go away. I'm gonna show you, if you wanna see my holiday catalog stuff, I'm gonna show you that in just a minute if you wanna stick around. Let me clean up my mess. Huge mess today, huge mess. Today we made these two cute boxes. Well, one of these boxes. We made a Ghirardelli box and we made the cute little mailman UPS guy delivering a package. This stamp set is called you always deliver it's only $16 it's got a lot of images and a lot of sentiments and over right now at pinkbuckaroo.com you can click on um, the link under the third picture to get the PDF that has all the details for these projects um, if you put in a $30 order by Monday at midnight I'm gonna send you the three project kits for free and if your order is $50 I'm also going to send you a pair of blends stamp and blends of your choice just gotta make sure you um, email me so I know which ones to send you. Those details are all over at pinkbuckaroo.com. The project deadline, if you want these, you have to have your order in by Monday, what is that, the 19th at midnight. That's the cutoff. The host code doesn't close then, but that's the, the cutoff for these projects, Monday at midnight. Now the blends um, offer, is that same host code, so you can use that through the 31st, and that cuts off on the 31st. Okie dokie. 
Okie dokie. Let's look at holiday catalog pre-order things, you guys. Yeah, Lisa, welcome. It's okay. You can watch the replay. Okay, let me make sure I get everything off of here so I don't lose these stamps. And then you guys can see it. You guys who have seen the catalog, tell me what you want to see. That makes sense. I, I have this huge box. When I pull it up, you'll understand what I mean. Um, you've probably seen other demonstrators showing their stuff that they got already. Um, so maybe there's something in particular that you want to see. How about we look at the paper first? Because the paper share, like I was telling you at the beginning, which, you know, you'd think I'd have a system by now of where I put my information when I'm done telling you, but it's not here. Oh well, paper share and ribbon share, you guys. It's coming up, it's right now. Signups are open. Um, you can get six by six, which would be like this, or six by 12, which would be this much paper, okay? And let me just flip through real quick. I, you know, I printed that paper out so that I would look like I knew all the names of the papers. And now I don't have it, and I'm not gonna be able to tell you the names of the papers. Urgh. It's not here, darn it. Oh well, okay, I can't tell you the names, I don't know, but this is really pretty. Look at this, silver foil on one side. It's um, like a specialty paper and it comes six by six. You get, um, if you buy the pack, of course, you get four of each pattern. In the paper share, you'll get one of each pattern. A paper share is a great way to get a, this is my favorite one in the whole, in the whole pack, isn't that beautiful? A paper share is a great way to get um, a little bit of all of it. You know, like most of us can't just order everything right at the beginning, but we want everything. And so a paper and a ribbon share is a great way to get a little bit of each thing. And then whatever you really love, you can order more of. Now here's the other paper. <laughs> the other paper that I can't remember the name. You know, I'm really annoyed with myself because I typed that out and I have it right here. And I keep looking for it and it's like not going to show up. Oh, here it is. Okay, that way I can tell you the names, guys. I really want to be able to tell you the names. So that first paper was brightly gleaming. This one is Night Before Christmas and it is six by six. Oh, I'm supposed to do it like this because I have them all arranged. It's cute. It's very interesting. Different colors. Um, yeah. Hello, love. Um, just really cool. And these have the Memories and More cards that match, which is really cool because you can, I mean, just, you know, having so many coordinating products is uh, really helpful when you're crafting. I'll show you those in a minute. This is, okay, you guys help me. Which one is this? Wrapped in plaid? And wrapped in plaid has a little bit of gold too. Can you guys see how that, each piece has a little bit of gold. Lots of different plaids. Love, love. Love all of them. I really like that one too. I think that one's interesting. Um, so these are the, all these are six by six. I haven't cut them. They come in six by six pieces. So in the paper chair, you'll get one each of the pattern, of each pattern, double-sided. Um, little stockings. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Now, let it snow. This is the paper that I have a class designed around this. Let it snow, and it is specialty paper. These are glittered, and it's Coastal Cabana and Real Red. I mean, does it get any better than Coastal Cabana and Real Red? I don't think so. This one's really cute. It also has um, blueberry bushel in it, which I thought was an interesting color to throw in there. Look how cute. So cute. All right, so that's the, my class in September. It's gonna be using that paper. Then this one is, this one has a funny name. Come Together, you know, like the song? Come together. Yeah, I always have to sing it. And this is your fall paper. Look at these two together. Mm, lovely, beautiful. I think I might have shown you guys this paper already because we got this in Greece, or I got this in Greece. 
beautiful 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 it's like the fall kind of paper oh, and that one too now here's the the twall tidings which is my i feel like i've said this is my favorite <laughs> a lot but basically monochromatic papers in just real red and i think that's garden green makes um when you have paper that just has you know one color it for me it just makes things a whole lot easier well that's multiple of the same i think um it just i don't know simplifies things when you have one color that's really beautiful this one okay what's the name of this one i can't remember let's see i'm looking at my list oh that was feels like frost this is brightly gleaming is that right Patty, is that what um, you were telling me, Frost? Yeah, I told you the wrong name. So is this one must be brightly gleaming. A lot of them have the sparkles. Look at that. So if you are waiting for your catalog from me, it'll be there any day. I shipped them earlier in the week. And you can see all of this for yourself. Now, this is really cool. They're calling this mercury glass. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? So cool, mercury glass. And then, yay, Halloween. I love Halloween, you guys, so much. I love crafting Halloween. I think more than I actually like Halloween. <laughs> I just love it. Pumpkins, look at this paper, stunning. This is my favorite print in the whole pack. It's so weird. It's like a um, oh, clue, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. It's like a map of a spooky house. This one again, gorgeous. This one is really cute with all these like weird little things in jars. And I love this one too with the books. A lot of crushed curry in this pack. I've already designed three of the six projects. They're coming, they're gonna be so cute. Those of you who love Halloween, you're gonna love them, I hope. Okay, so that's all the DSP. Just remember that you can sign up for that DSP share right now with me um, along with the ribbon. And let's see, what else do I, oh, let me show you the kits. Um, by the way, did I, I did tell you guys, if you get the six by six paper and the ribbon, you're gonna get the puff paint for free, the snow puff paint. These details are all over my blog. If you get the six by 12 paper and the ribbon, you're gonna get the puff paint and, I can't remember what it's called. I can't, I get shimmer crystal effects. You'll get both of those for free. And they're down here in this box and I'll show you. This is gonna be really cool. This is one of these advent calendars. Very cute. I've ordered it, but I haven't done a thing with it. Here's another kit called Joy of Giving Tags. So let's take a look. I haven't even opened it. Oh, lots of beautiful tags. Stamp set, oh, and a spot. We all love a spot. Stamp and Spot Poppy Parade. Let's see. Another fun box. They've really been spoiling us with these cute boxes to put our things in. So all the things you need are in here. Look, even dimensionals. And then you can store your tags in here when you're done. That is an all-inclusive kit. Comes with everything you need. That, that's really fun and easy and good for crafting on the run. You know, like if you are going on a trip and you want to take something with you. All right, let me just show you my box, you guys. Okay, so this is how I don't even know where to start to show you stuff. Um, Spooktacular Bash Halloween class right here. Oh, we're really too close. I need to move this out of the way. Um, look at those dies. Gorgeous. Enamel dots, spooky enamel dots. You can see I've already used some. Love the font on the stamp set. Um, what do I show you? Gosh, I don't even know where to start. These are the Memories of More cards. I opened them and looked at them this morning. Really, really cool this time. You have six of each one. So if you're making Christmas cards, it's like a stamp -a stack. You can easily make six at a time. You know, they're all the same. And this is also great if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So you can have a class with these and everybody would get one, one you could divide a pack by six people. I thought that was really neat. And they are, look at the envelopes. They have these cute little envelopes and the card bases that go with these so you can make greeting cards out of them. Isn't that a cute envelope and card? So cute. Um, we have new ink pads, you guys. Um, these are metallic, gold, golden glitz. We've been needing these for a while. We had a we had um, 
gold and silver ink pads years ago and they retired for some reason and I've just been really needing these. So I'm excited about those. These are really, really cool. These are called tags and feather elements. Uh, yes, I have ink all over my fingers. All right, so they're basically wood accents, but look at this one. It's like a tree ring. Isn't that beautiful? And then you've got the feathers, of course. So that'll be really good for fall projects. Um, we've got new ice stamp and glitter. Some of us love glitter. Some of us do not love glitter. I'm kind of in the middle. Very pretty. Very pretty. Um, what else? What else? Here's another punch that goes with that heart. They're floating around because I, I've been using them. Here is the puff paint. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys that card because this puff paint is ridiculous. It is so awesome. Let me see. Here's my card. So you put the puff paint down and it's liquidy and then you take your heat tool and you heat it and it puffs up like, um, like crystals growing. Remember when we were kids, there would be that crystal kit that you could get the crystals. That's exactly what it looks like when you heat it. It like grows. It's really neat. So puff paint, snowfall accents, puff paint. Um, I, I think you guys are going to love it and it's going to be included in my snowman class. Speaking of snowman class, let's look at the snowman embellishment kit. The snowman embellishment kit has these tiny little snowballs, some washi tape, and look at the stickers. Oh my gosh, the hand or the arms, the nose, the coal. And then the felt pieces are the hat and the scarf and the mitten. Let's see, he had, he had all of it, didn't he? He has the felt scarf and hat, the enamel nose and arms and um, coal. This is one of the cutest things I have ever seen Stampin' Up! come out with. It's so cute. So the class will also include that kit because you're gonna need it. So we've got some new rhinestones, holiday rhinestone basics and twill tidings, glitter enamel dots. That goes with that beautiful paper. Here are some star designer elements. Oh, we have googly eyes, of course, in different colors. That's cute. Who doesn't love googly eyes? Very cute. I'm showing you all the embellishments first because I have them all together. Um, snowfall sequins, which are designed to go in this snow globe thing. That I, ooh, look how cute and tiny they are, oh my gosh. Um, this, that I'll show you when we get to it, it's a snow globe, um, like a shaker dome. Jingle bells, awesome. And how about, I sh I've shown you guys the black dimensionals. Um, oh, a coffin box, um, hello, how fun. It, you just put them together, how many come in here? 12, 12 little treat boxes. You don't have to cut them out, you just fold them, put them together. I love it when things are easy, don't you guys? These are some copper stars, brightly gleaming foil elements. <laughs> I thought I knew the name. Okay, now this is something people were asking a lot about. These gold pizza boxes. Gold pizza boxes. And I have not even seen them out of the box yet. Whoa, that is gold. So if you've ever made our little pizza boxes before, these are exactly the same. Very easy to put together. They have that um, waxy, uh, coating on the inside so they're you know protect if you put some you know like a cookie or something the grease isn't going to stain it well come on so you just put them together they don't even require adhesive and it's gold <laughs> it reminds me of a movie isn't that beautiful mm, how many in a package eight eight gold boxes in a package and we've got some masks, some new masks, which I was looking for my mask the other day and I don't think I even have the current ones. For next week's Facebook Friday, we're gonna do some embossing paste. All right, so this is an awesome bundle, Stitched Stars. 
Look at that, stitched stars. Um, I think this is gonna be a very popular set. We're gonna use this next week in Facebook Friday too. Um, I've already got this project's planned, so come back next Friday at two and you will see me use some of this. Okay, so let's look at the snow globe. Since I have those, where is my snow globe? Hmm. <laughs> All right, maybe we won't. Oh yeah, here it is. Still scenes. And here are the dies, and you cut this out and you use these little domes to make a shaker card got the adhesive it's popped up already super easy and huge wow factor those are going to be very popular too very popular all right so let's just kind of look through here um i showed you i won these dies on the greek cruise here's the stamp set that goes with it this stamp is reversible you can stamp it the cup this way you can stamp the cup that way who thought of that so smart birds of a feather that'll be a facebook friday for sure the raven Ooh, it's a good halloween set boo to you <laughs> that guy <laughs> love it holly jolly christmas this goes with those uh, memories and more cards we've got some words which i always love die cut words to be jolly tis the season santa that's a really cute set that he'll be fun to color with blends all right, now here's the one that I almost cried. I loved it so much when I saw it on the ship, Harvest Hellos. This is a punch, it can be an apple or a pumpkin. Cute, right? And look at this. Oh, yes, I love it so much. You will see that very soon from me, very, very soon. We've got Snowfront, which is like the stamp set called Waterfront. Um, that is was so popular when it first came out and still very popular. This is in that same style. And what else do we have? Christmas countdown. This goes with the uh, little advent kit I showed you. Then we have the cardinal. Coordinates with the Twall Tidings stamp set. And some good framelits. Look, um, I love when we have little banners and little swirls like that. And this one, tags, tags, tags. This is sharing a magnet with something that doesn't come with it. So tags, tags, tags is this, th these three. Look at this, these are together. So you can stamp it at one time. Let me show you, and cut them all out at one time. See, isn't that awesome? So you don't have to, you just like that and you cut them out. They're all connected. It just makes it a little bit easier. Ugh. Constantly stamping up, coming up with great, you know, innovative little ideas. All right, then we've got some embossing folders. This one is called Stylish Scroll. This is my favorite, hammered metal. I know it looks weird right there. It looks like something under a microscope, but it's beautiful. And Winter Kit. <laughs> Lisa, yeah, I know, tell me about it. The holiday catalog is always such, just so good. Like I can't resist it. Here are these other, I have these little punches everywhere that I'm, I wanna show you, the coordinating punches. Mm, did I already, here it is. The little part we did during our projects, plus these three go with this stamp set. Isn't it cute? Really cute, and I think it'd be good for just simple projects. All right, I love this one, everything festive. Look at these sentiments. P.S. I love you. From our home to yours, merry and bright, no tricks, just treats. Winter Wonderland, be my Valentine, wishing you peace, love, and laughter in the new year. These are great. Covers lots of holidays, and they're big, so they're going to be the focal point of your project, your card. I love when the sentiment is the artwork. You know, it is the focal point, and that is what that one is. All right, Wonderfully Wicked. This is what was on the other side right here. This die set has this beautiful word right here. It's very scripty. Can you see that? It's kind of hard to tell in a little spider. And it goes with these. Hmm, interesting, I love it. All right, I say I love it a lot because I really do, you guys. Gather together, I'm a sucker. If there's a pumpkin, I'm gonna use it. And this is great. These are really cool leaves. They emboss 
and cut, I believe. Yep. Those will be fun to play with. Those are going to make beautiful leaves. Some watercolor paper, some watercolor, and then that. I think that's going to be incredible. Um, perfectly plaid. A punch. We all love a punch. Makes it easy. I showed you a card while I was gone. A little sneak peek of this set. It's a really good one. Now here's one that I love. And my friend Angie's from Canada. She laughed and said it was ridiculous. You know, she's like, no. And me, I'm down in South Texas where we would never see a moose ever. I said, oh my gosh, I have to have that. It's a moose punch. So I don't know. Those of you who live where there's a moose, do you like that? Would you want that? I think you would. <laughs> I don't know. He's cute. And the raccoon. It's so different. I love when we have things that we've never had anything like it before. And that's definitely one of them. Now this, do you guys remember the Curvy Keepsake box? Um, it retired a couple of years ago. Well, here is a new tiny Curvy Keepsake box. It's smaller than the previous one. The, if you had the previous one, you had two different dies. You had, or no, you had one die that you had to cut twice and it looked like this. Well, now they're connected and you just cut one. Um, super easy to put together, used it a million times. So I'm sure this one will be no different. And of course it has these stitch tags, which I need to just put out on my wall so I can remember to use these because these are incredible. I'm gonna use those a ton. This is a stamp set that goes with it and you can stamp, you know, the one or, you know, the two opposites with a pattern and leave the other two blank or, or all four and then the sentiments that go with it. I can't wait to use that a tiny one. Um, we've got a little day of thanks, if you like to do Thanksgiving things. Um, this is, this is our, oh, what do we call it, you guys? Um, I'm drawing a blank. Does it have the name on it? We got this in Greece and it is one of those all-inclusive, oh, somebody help me out, what do we call it? Everything, the stamps, the dies, the paper, the embellishments, everything comes in one open-ended kit. Product Medley, Product Medley. Thank you, Catherine. Um, that's what it's called, and that's what this is. It's a great way to just get everything that coordinates together to make a bunch of stuff. And it's not like a kit that tells you what to make. It's for those of us that like to just be creative. And so that's in the catalog. Um, all together. You cannot buy those things separately. You can only buy them all together. Itty Bitty Christmas. We've got a series of Itty Bitties. We've got Itty Bitty Greetings, Itty Bitty Birthdays, and now we've got Itty Bitty Christmas. Just good. Good, good, good. Playful Penguins. That's really, really cute. And the greatest part of Christmas. Beautiful sentiments, too. All right, I think I showed you everything that I got this time. I had quite a few coupons. You know what, I didn't show you my, um, let's see, where is it? The, the puff paint and the, well darn it, it's not in here. The crystal effects, huh, I wonder what I did with it. The crystal effects is one of the things you'll get free if you buy the big six by 12 paper, and then this is the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. It looks like this, but it's longer and skinnier. Um, they're really, really neat. Um, both very different from anything that we've had. So anyways, that's it for me today, you guys. Wow, I can't believe my phone is still alive. I went a really long time today. Thank you for joining me. Remember, we've got a Dog Days of Summer special right now. Um, Anybody who spends $50 online um, in my Stamping Up store, ordering Stamping Up products, I'm going to send you the blends for free. All right, so click over, go to pinkbuckaroo.com to check out all the things I've got going on right now. My classes, my paper share, ribbon share, dog days, Facebook Friday projects, just too much, too much. So exciting to have all these things going on in August. All right, you guys, thanks so much. I will see you next Friday at 2 o'clock live. Um, and until then, you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye, guys.